Hi guys, this video is to show you how to create a reliable uh, backup which, uh, which you can use to copy uh, files from uh, one folder to uh, another or from one drive to another for yeah just just uh, backing up or maybe uh, to use like to copy uh, as in my case copy files from an NAS to an external hard drive which are then later on backed up to an online backup because yeah online backups can't access to NAS so you have to back up, back up it f first from the NAS to an attached USB drive. So what's important for a backup? Uh, step one, it has to be automatically be invoked. And uh, step two, it has to be really reliable. And step three, you want to have uh, like an uh, email notification. So that's really difficult and especially it's difficult when you want to have all the three steps for free. I have been trying for weeks or even months and I have not been able to find a complete solution which provide this. The closest match was the personal backup. Uh, that's a total uh, complete uh, super solution. It has all the options, all the features and even much more as, than you need. But it's completely unreliable. So this is not something th uh, w w what you want. So at the end, the only thing which I have found is the FFS. This is the free file sync. Uh, I'll, I'll show you all the links where you can download all the stuff which you need and yeah so we actually start first because this is the central part of your backup so actually you have here the uh, left side uh, of your um, yeah the backup so you can browse your folders and then uh, say from where you want to copy your files and on the right side same you have also this browser thing where you can say to where you want to have uh, like the destination of your yeah le left is the origin and right is the destination simply so and on the top you have the options like I have been using the mirror option so I have a complete um yeah like a mirror it, i have the same files left side and right side so uh when i delete on the left side they will be deleted on the right side too so this is what you have to do you can have several backups at the same time you can save it in one batch like here i have actually uh, three logical drives on my nis and i back it to three sections of my local USB but you can do it in several ba uh, different batches so it, it's up to you so it's just um, yeah uh, like it's just uh, as I did it so and what you have uh, you have the F8 here you have the uh, synchronized options a little bit more and here it's important you can use actually your recycle bin yeah just as a, as a security if you delete some files uh, by accident so then th these would be stored in the recycle bin now I have to uh, I had opted this out because I have problems with long uh, pass names yeah that's uh, always a problem when you have in the windows longer pass names than 256 bytes so but later on I will activate the recycle bin again of course so what you have to do handle errors um, pop up yeah doesn't work because you want to run it on the on it hand, uh, on uh, yeah with no attendance so just in the background overnight or whatever so yeah uh, probably you will have to use the ignore as well course you can use filter and 
other comparison options it's completely up to you the most important thing you have to save this because yeah you want to lose your your uh, changes and at the end you will have to save it as a batch job that's the most important thing here again we, we have the error handling just i think you best is to ignore it uh yeah and you but you can save the log to um yeah uh, some directory and then you have access to it so that's important to save the whole process as a batch because this will be used uh, later on so okay that's the central part like means what do you want to backup and where do you want to store it again now we have to make it work that uh, it will be invoked and this can be done when you uh, with the uh, windows scheduler so just uh, when i go down you can press the window button and then type um task like task scheduler This will open the Windows task uh, scheduler. So then go to the action and create a basic task. And it takes some time. I'm using a little bit uh, slow uh, machine. Yeah, what you also need in the meantime, actually, yeah, I was a little bit too fast with this. What you need, I show it here. Um, I hope you can see. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is actually the start of the whole uh, game. You have to create a file with the text editor uh, with the ending dot b a t like a, a batch um, command file it has just three rows and we have to um, yeah this simply uh, starts a vbs visual basic script so this is also needed so you have to create that. Oh, I have pressed this. Yeah, okay. Wow, it's gone too. Okay, so yeah. Uh, you will have access to all, all these things. I, I, I show you how to do uh, in, the, in the text below. So, but of course, you, you see it, it's, it's very simple. You need um, invocation of the of the uh, Visual Basic um, thing, Visual Basic uh, script. So that's the first thing. Yeah. Okay. And this you have to invoke here. So in the in the window uh, task scheduler. So you have to put in a name like blah 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 something. Press next weekly or daily next then you say when uh, first uh, start and uh, like yeah every day and then next and start program next and here you put your batch file yeah this is very important you can browse for it where, wherever you have stored so you put here the name pass and the name of your dot B A T file like this one where you have the invocation of the VBS script which I will show you later on okay so now I will close that so and I will cancel this too because now um, yeah I would have to finish as the next step so that's pretty easy I um, yeah that's the start of the whole game so this will start then the batch file which will start the visual basic script i will add a link where you can see where you can download the visual basic script and the reason for the 
Visual Basic script is that there's the um, access, I mean the uh, call to the uh, email. There's the email function there because there's no other way, there's no implementation in the free file, um, free file thing uh, to, to, to invoke an email. Okay, it has no scheduler and it has no email. So that's the bad thing about this. But it's the most reliable program to backup. So we are using this. Now here we have the uh, backup, the, the, the Visual Basic script, which I will in the text then uh, show uh, where to where, where and how to download um, yeah it's almost uh, complete so some guy has done it uh, luckily so we can just use it and here there's a part which you have to adapt so like you have to um, say where your Exe, uh, free file sync exe um, uh, program is and then you say where your um, batch the, your the batch which you have uh, created uh, where this is and then the uh, yeah all the things you go down and you have to also specify your email and password of course and what i did here uh, i have to look for mg so these uh, are the adaptions which i have made for the um gmail because the original script doesn't work with gmail so i have added these i think these are three lines of code um, yeah, just, uh, I mean, it's not much, but uh, it was not working, so this is really important. Either you add it manually or you copy it from my link. So basically, it here from the this visual basic script, it starts the free file sync, and when this is completed, it uh, read through through the uh, last um, uh, log file and reports the content of the log file to the email address which you have specified and that's the end of the story so quite simple and quite um, yeah it's really really reliable I've been using it since a couple of weeks and had no problem at all so I can really recommend this solution. I hope it will work for you too. So if you have any questions, just write me back. I hope it was not too confusing, but I will um, write it everything down in the section beside the video. So I hope you will have access to all the downloads uh, which you need to set it up. But I think it's really worth the time because there's no nothing else no, nothing comparable to this and even when you are ready to spend some money like 50 bucks or 100 bucks I have been tested uh, I've been testing some uh, paid uh, backup solutions with scheduler and with email options and none of them has been really reliable so this is the only option which i have found so i hope it works for you too thanks for watching see you next time